Hello, I'm David Makarath. I'm a medical doctor. And three years ago, I had a job at the Department for Work and Pensions, which I lost. I'm a Bible believing Christian. I love the Lord Jesus Christ as my savior. And I believe that the Bible is my final authority in all matters of faith and practice. Now, the Bible says that God made us male and female in his image. Now, I believe that with all my heart and I seek to live by that as well. I lost my job because I said that I could not, in good conscience, refer to a man as she or a woman as he. Because I believe that this is dishonest. I believe that it is a lie. Science confirms that a person cannot change sex. Science or medical science shows us that we are male or female and we cannot pass from one to the other. There's no surgical procedure that can change our sex. There's no medical procedure that can change our sex. So when I say I'm not prepared to use the English language in that way, I'm simply being honest and I'm speaking according to the sound principles of science and the truth of God's word. Now, of course, when this happened, we aren't trying to be unkind to people. We're not trying to victimize or, or bully people in any way whatsoever. We don't want to do that. We're Christians. We're called to love all people with Christian love. But we don't love people when we live a lie and when we spread and disseminate a lie. The truth is we cannot change sex. So I could not use the pronouns in that way. We're always being told that we have to follow the science. We're always being told when things are done to us, when we're confined in our homes or when we're when we're told that we need to wear masks. We're always being told that this is the science, follow the science. And if we as doctors follow the science, we should be telling our patients that it's not possible to change sex. But in good conscience as a Christian, I must stand up for what's true and what's right. Lying is a sin and I'm not prepared to lie on this point. Now, I want to thank all of our all of those who have supported me during this three years since I was sacked. We had a tribunal two years ago at which we were hammered because um, it was considered that to believe the Bible, to believe that we were made, we are made in God's image, male and female, is incompatible with human dignity. Now, this we must stand up against. We must stand up, first of all, against the forced use of language. Nobody should be used, forced to use pronouns in, in, a, in, in a dishonest manner. We must stand up for freedom to believe what the Bible teaches, for we are more or less being told that the only option we have is to believe an ideology, a gender ideology, which, which cannot be true if it's impossible for a person to change sex. Why should we be forced to believe a lie? I want to believe the Bible. I want to believe the truth of God's word. And I do believe it with all my heart. And then finally, I want to be able to live and practice my faith. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If a Christian says, I want to live honestly, what's wrong with that? We want to live honestly. We want to tell the truth. And we want the court to affirm that. We want the court to say, yes, as a Christian, the law says that you are allowed to go about your daily business in honesty and with integrity. That's what we are looking for, and that's what we're hoping for. So I'll thank you, everyone who has supported my case. Thank you for praying for us. Thank you for the many letters and, and, uh, and emails that I've had about this. Please pray for the Christian Legal Center, who are absolutely wonderful, who are fantastic, and they will be at the cutting edge, um, the uh, Christian Legal Center lawyers standing in court and um, arguing the case. And pray, please, that when, when we go to court, it would be God himself who intervenes on behalf of all our parts and pray that something extraordinary by the grace of God would take place. Thank you so much for listening.